Welcome to my channel guys and in this next tips and tricks series I am going to introduce you to a nice little functionality in Vue.js which is drag and sort. Um, basically we will have a list of let's say to do's which I will pull from an open API and then we will want to you know sort it by dragging things around and you know uh, yeah that's about it what we are trying to do in this video so and you know, just to start with I'll quickly create a few pages and components so that we are in place so I'll do that a little quickly because these are very boi uh, boilerplate kind of code I have created a route which will directly pull a view okay the URL is pages slash drag slash uh, sort and it will uh, take a view from the pages folder inside the views so okay so I'll have the blade ready as well I have uh, I, I have just stolen the home page route okay and oops yeah so I have this page and let's create a, a component inside um, this folder I, let's call it drag rather why don't we do one thing so we have pages slash drag underscore sort and then I'll have drag sort to do dot view okay so yeah this is the template which I want so just do test script and app.js which is here should have this reference so drag sort to do pages slash this and I think we should be able to uh, call this component here let's see yep that's it so the basic page setup is done and I have one route which is pulling out a blade file and that blade file is calling a view component so I'll just delete everything else sorry close everything else and let's see what do we want we first of all we'll use the open um, you know JSON API JSON placeholder something like that JSON placeholder yes this API to pull some data it has 200 to do's so we can use them for our own purpose I'll on created I'll make an ex, uh, Ajax call so xs.get this is the URL right and I'll have then response oops that's a you know, external API and I'm not you know, sure whether you know, it will always return a response so I'm just going to catch uh, an error if there is any okay for now I'm just you know, doing a console log but yeah so let's see um that's strange my thing is running but i still yeah i see the ajax call it has around 200 to do's now which is quite overwhelming i don't want 200 of them you know coming so why don't we do one thing we will just have let's say only 10 of them 
you know, for our own uh, requirements. So I'll create a method which says fetch to do list. Okay. I'll take that and okay, and I'll paste it here. Now, what are we going to do with the response? Is the question. So once we get the response, let's say the data is equal to response dot data and then this dot to do's I need to create that but this dot to do's will be data dot filter so I'll use the uh, filter method on the array and to do to do dot id sorry less than equal to 10 okay I'll need to create this first and then I'll explain you what I'm doing here All right, so on created, I'm going to call this function. Now we have seen that this is going to make an Ajax call. It will get the response. And then I'm putting the entire response dot data as a variable. And then I'm saying that you know, what I want to do is filter this entire response with the ID till it is less than or equal to 10. Okay. so. If I expand and it's the short version, but it is very similar to let's say I and I pass the to do and I say if to do dot id less than or equal to 10 return to do uh, sorry okay and so what will happen is whatever is getting returned is you know being filtered so whatever I don't return will not be pushed to to do's okay so that's what I am doing here in a short form which is not like that right like this okay so i'm basically filtering the data and then putting it into my to do so let's see i'll refresh i made that ajax call i'm waiting for the response i don't think i'll get that now i'm not doing a console log but i do get the to do's only 10 out of them right if i have not done this and i have simply said you know this dot to do's equals data what would have happened is i'll have 200 to do's okay. so let's undo and i have 10 now quickly i'll just add some markup so that you know we have something to work with so to do list okay i'll use the bootstraps uh, list group so a ul with class list group and that will loop through the to do's and i have this you know list to work with now okay so now we want to drag things around and you know sort them right so i'll use um, an npm plugin which is draggable so view draggable is the npm plugin it's a very simple implementation but let's you know go through it together i'll first you know, install this here and while we are doing it, what do we need to do? We will be using this part where I'll have a model and I'm going to iterate through that model and I'll have this transition group. Now, is the model is going to be to do's, right? And instead of div, we'll be using the li. So let's see, we have the module in place. So I will be importing draggable from view draggable. Okay. I need to mention this to view so that view understands that there is 
this component which I'm going to use and then I will define a model which is to do's and I put it here okay so once we have this in place we will get the ability to drag and drop things right so I can you know, take it anywhere now if you want to see what is happening exactly so the ID is 2 okay and this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I think. Yeah. So you can see that it's sorted by the key, right? The ID is obviously not going to change. It's the key which we are interested in to finally, you know, if we have a save button, then finally we are um, only interested in the key of this entire list. To work with right like for example if I want to save the final sequence so what we are going to do is we will introduce um, a new button okay I'll put some space let's say there's a save button on click I will do save new sequence I'll create this method and let's let's just say this dot to do's dot for each a loop through each of them okay just to show you um, that console dot log my key plus key a space and then to do dot title okay so uh, what have what all things have we done we have created a button this is going to get triggered yeah so let's refresh and what I'll do is I'll take this up okay and then this make some changes and then hit save so you can see my sequence is being followed on the console so this one is my first element now if I take it here and again hit console so you can see my initial key was key at zero was this which now is somewhere here which is third so when I am trying to you know hit the save I can send this entire you know data this to do's through post call and I can save them based on the keys so yeah that's how we can play around with you know this um, API and use this draggable interface in the next video I will show you you know uh, a basic you know bootstrapping on how we can save this new sequence into the database using Laravel Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.